Hey everybody, coffee's hot and we are about to learn how to uh, make some uh, nice looking uh, soft body dynamic with uh, M particles um, glue operator. That's kind of the first thing that I um, think about when uh, I think the glue operator. This would be this one, MP glue. Uh, by the way, the site is live, Tinir. Dot co so feel free to uh, visit comment if you have requests for uh, future tutorials tell me what you think whatever it might be uh, feel free to comment so let's get started um, so you might have like a high poly object that you want to deform you want to have some soft body on that or you could have metal denting or whatever you do not want to use a uh, high poly object okay so you want to copy that make a duplicate and uh, lower the, the details on it because it is very taxing to uh, simulate these things so um, just keep that in mind that you do not want to have too too much detail on there not too little either though that's uh, it's not a good thing so let's um, let's do this let's create a uh, sphere geosphere because we don't want to use the regular sphere better to have an even topology here now since um, you know this is not a not a lot of details on this so I don't need to have a low poly version so let's just make a clone of this copy uh, let's name one of these. Um, let's just do low and do one that is high. Not that it is high. So we know. I'm just going to hide the high one. Hide selection. Now we have this. And we want to drag in an M particle flow. Like so. And we get our standard uh, physics system going here. We don't want to have the spin, so we delete that. Um, not the grid, the birth is uh, better. We want to spread out uh, particles for each vertices. Okay? Because you, you can't actually deform a polygon. Okay, so we have to have those on um, each vertice. Um, let's set uh, the emit stop to zero. Let's add a position object so that the particle system knows where to uh, put our particles. And we want to add our sphere. Now we want to do uh, vertical all, ver vertices all. Okay, let's just uh, check object properties how many it is it is 162 so let's add it here 162 now depending on uh, I, I'm going to go with the um, sphere so um, and a sphere for the collision shape this is the the important one I suppose Depending on how the how what kind of look you want, you can uh, play around with uh, how big the shape is going to be. I'm going to go with, let's say, six. Uh, the larger, the less uh, wobbly, I suppose. We can play around with that later. And let's go into the uh, world. <coughs> and here we have the subframe factor. This is how many times. Uh, it will be calculated per frame, okay? Uh, but also, the higher you have, the stiffer your object is going to be, and the lower the the more wobbly it's going to be. So let's keep it at four for now. And we need to add our MP glue. Let's put that under the world. And here we have a couple of um, types. We are going to go with a rigid one. <clears throat> the timing, we only want them to uh, check the binding uh, one time, okay? 
because if you have it on continuously, they are kind of going to be very, they're going to be sticky. Okay, we don't want that. We don't want the stickiness. Not allow binding. Let's see. Uh, this is kind of weird to see. Um, okay, now we can see. Yes. Uh, let's see how many binds. Six is uh, perfect for this. Now we can see that they are all binding perfectly. Sweet. And just play around with the distance so you get them all connected. So what now? What else can we do? We don't even, I don't think we have to touch that much for this setup. Uh, if we do a quick play, as you can see, it's uh, wobbly. Nice. Let's uh, move this up a little bit. And that's how the look we get. Yes. So, what else? Like, uh, this, uh, this ain't enough, right? We uh, need to... Um, have our high poly object, which not is it isn't high poly for this, but um, okay, this is uh, not. Let's see, like so. We need to have that aligned, and uh, let's add a. Where is it? Come on, particle skinner. And I'm just going to select our PF source. You can't select uh, the low poly version. You're not going to be able to actually see anything in the list. So you have to have a new object. Activate skinning. And what we have now is... Yes. Perfect. And if you would want to render this... Let's see. I'm going to turn off the global illumination so I don't have to add any lights. And we can hide the low poly version. This is what we're going to get. Not cool. So, in the rendering, set this to none. Is it enough? Yes, it's enough. Now we don't get those ugly particles. So, what else can we do when we have this? Um, let's just check this. Uh, if I up this to, let's say, 12, it's really stiff. This could be a look that you're going for. Just into 2, it's going to be wobbly. Pretty cool. If I said this is 4 the, that we had, it's okay. We can change the shape to make this bigger. And as you can see, it gets stiffer, even though we did not up the subframe. And of course, this uh, ups the calculation time as well. So you can play around with the size to get something that you would want to have. And look at that. That's so cool. I like it. You could, uh, <coughs> you could add a, uh, a box. Let's give it a material. And for this, we can have a collision shape, P flow collision shape inside of here, and just activate that. Now this is going to be a collision shape for our um, particles. So we can just add a MP collision in here and add it. And if we want to, we can give this an initial push if we would like to. Take a speed, like so. And it's going to be along the icon arrow as a default. And why not just use it? since we already have it. Rotate it a little bit. Let's make it bigger so we can see it. And since we have a speed in our 
Physic world, let's also add a switch. Above world, under speed. Just check speed. And we now have a little push. So cute. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. So this is a quick look at the glue operator. There's a lot more to it. We there's uh, you know we can break binding. We can send uh, send things to another event if something happens to the breaking and such. But I think this is uh, good enough for um, for this tutorial. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, until next time, bye-bye.